Hello everyone, what is going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're talking about the Abyssal Slayer creatures coming out later this month and what you can expect for them in terms of rewards. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video, let's go! Alright guys, as I'm sure you all know and I've been talking about on the channel for a while now, on February 28th they are releasing three new Slayer creatures at 95, 105, and 115 Slayer. These new foes are pouring into Sentistin and as I mentioned get progressively stronger depending on which one you're fighting. Starting off at 95 Slayer you have the Abyssal Savage. Although the weakest of the foes, there's a lot more of them. They are all about swarm attacks. You want to watch out for their two lashing tongues, but remember that the sheer number of them is enough to overwhelm, so think fast. At 105 Slayer, you can fight the Abyssal Beast. This creature is an aggressive Hellhound-like being that will try to siphon off your life force. You will need to dodge its massive tongue and watch out for its HP draining special attack. The final creature at 115 Slayer is the Abyssal Lord. This is the upper echelon of Abyssal Demons. With power and knowledge beyond the rest of its cohort, it summons a magnitude of minions to assist it in combat, and will not blink at their demise. You want to make sure you kill them as fast as possible or they will overwhelm you. So those are your three creatures. You're probably wondering what kind of rewards you can expect with this. Well we have some insight to that. Starting off we have a new tier 92 main hand weapon, the Abyssal Scourge. It's a new take on the Abyssal Whip and has a unique effect. Each attack that lands will apply an Abyssal Parasite effect, which is essentially a melee bleed. If the Parasite is already on the target, the effect will refresh the bleed duration and add one more stack for good measure. If you're target reaches maximum stacks, the duration will simply refresh. For every stack of Abyssal Parasite, the target will take damage every 3 cycles, for 15 cycles in total. If your target dies, Abyssal Parasites will all explode out of the body. They will multiply and attack your enemies, as well as others within a 5x5 radius of the originating target. The new target will then start off with half of the original Parasite bleed stacks. This effect shares similarities to Corruption Shot, except it will also tag and aggro its targets when it jumps to them. This is dropped by the Abyssal Lords with a significantly increased drop when on task. Next up we have the Jaws of the Abyss Helm. This will be a new tier 85 power armor helmet. While wearing it, all of your bleeds on target will increase the adrenaline gain from your melee basic attacks by an additional 2% per bleed type in PvE and an additional 1% per bleed type in PvP. The Jaws of the Abyss Helm is dropped by the Abyssal Beasts with a significantly increased drop chance on task. Finally, we have the Abyss Armor Spikes. These are consumable add-ons to upgrade your armor spikes or trimmed armor spikes and inflict damage to enemies attacking you in melee. When they activate, they have a chance to apply Abyssal Parasites to the target. And we just talked about previously with the Abyssal Scourge exactly what Abyssal Parasites are and how they function. And these Abyssal Armor Spike components are dropped by all three of the new Abyssal Slayer creatures. So there you have it. That's all you really need to know for the Abyssal Slayer creatures coming out on February the 28th, just 10 days from now. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about these new creatures and their drops. Love to hear your thoughts down below. With that, I'm going to wrap up the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Because I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.